Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're venturing to the coldest continent on Earth, Antarctica, to explore a fiery giant, Mount Erebus, a volcano with a surprising secret, it spews gold. That's right, gold dust. So, buckle up and get ready to learn about this incredible geological phenomenon. The History of Mount Erebus Erebus is not your typical volcano. Towering over 12,448 feet, it's the southernmost active volcano on Earth. Unlike most volcanoes surrounded by molten rock, Erebus has a permanent lava lake churning within one of its summit craters. This continuous activity has been ongoing since at least 1972, making it one of the most persistently erupting volcanoes we know of. Interestingly, Mount Erebus is part of the Ross Volcanic Region, a massive volcanic belt that stretches for hundreds of miles across Antarctica. This region is thought to be fueled by a plume of hot rock rising from deep within the Earth's mantle. The Golden Discovery Volcanoes are all about spewing hot gases and sometimes rocks. But, as it turns out, tiny specks of gold, no bigger than 20 micrometers, are present in the volcanic plume of Mount Erebus. Scientists believe these gold particles are carried up from deep within the Earth's mantle by the hot volcanic gases. The mantle is the vast, mostly solid layer between Earth's crust and core, and it's theorized to contain traces of various precious metals, including gold. The Daily Downpour of Gold Dust Now, let's get to the exciting part. How much gold are we talking about? Estimates suggest Mount Erebus coughs up around 80 grams of gold dust every single day. That might sound like a treasure trove, but those 80 grams are worth roughly $6,000. Not exactly a gold rush situation. Here's why. First, the gold particles are microscopic, making collection incredibly difficult. Second, the harsh Antarctic environment makes any large-scale mining operation impractical and incredibly expensive. The Science Behind the Gold So, how exactly does Mount Erebus become a dispenser of gold dust? It all boils down to the volcano's unique plumbing system. The hot, molten rock within Erebus contains dissolved elements and minerals, including tiny specks of gold. As the magma rises towards the surface and encounters cooler temperatures, some of it crystallizes into solid rock. This process can trap some of the dissolved gold within the newly formed minerals. However, other elements, including gold, are less likely to be incorporated into the solid rock and remain free-floating within the remaining magma. When the magma reaches the surface and erupts, it explodes into the air, fragmenting into ash and releasing volcanic gases. The intense heat can vaporize some of the remaining gold particles, turning them into even tinier specks. These microscopic gold flecks are then carried aloft by the volcanic plume and eventually deposited on the surrounding landscape or blown away by the winds. Where does the gold go? These microscopic gold particles get swept away by the winds and can travel up to 621 miles from the volcano. Researchers have even found traces of this gold dust in Antarctic ice cores. By analyzing the gold's composition and distribution within the ice, scientists can gain valuable insights into past volcanic activity and atmospheric conditions in Antarctica. While it's not commercially viable to collect this airborne gold, it does tell us a fascinating story about the composition of Earth's interior and the processes that occur within active volcanoes. The presence of gold in Mount Erebus's emissions isn't just a scientific curiosity. It sheds light on the potential existence of precious metals deep within the Earth's mantle. This knowledge could be valuable in the future exploration of geothermal resources or even in the development of new methods for extracting these metals. Mount Erebus, the fiery giant of Antarctica, raining down a sprinkle of gold dust every day. It's a reminder that even in the harshest environments, nature can surprise us with its unique wonders. The next time you think of Antarctica, you might not just picture penguins and icebergs, but also a volcano spewing a touch of golden treasure. What other geological oddities would you like to explore? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures in science.